up, what's up? Bold Disciple here. Just want to um, talk about something. I'm not going to take a whole lot of time. Just really want to talk about this. I was um, in a focus group the other day. And uh, amongst, amongst different cultures, not it wasn't a black focus group. It was a focus group um, with different people. Um, Jewish, um, Indian, um, Caucasian. And one thing I noticed when I was in this focus group that they were all talking about plans. <clears throat> Excuse me. They were talking about how they had a five-year plan, um, a 10-year plan, and a 20-year plan. Okay, the five-year plan was based on, you know, them getting things started and moving in the right direction. Um, the 10-year plan was um, more so um, in regards to when things come in. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry comes in when things um, kind of start to blossom and how they will go forth from there and then the 20 year plan which pretty much deals with the generations um, their children their children's children and it was very interesting to me how how all of them had that mindset and me I was thinking that as, as a black man that I don't even plan my day. So how in the world? Um, what am I gonna say to these people? Am I gonna sit up here a lot of these people? Like um I like, oh yeah, my five year plan is this, my ten year plan and oh you know what I told those people? I was like, this is amazing. You know that all you guys are on the same page, you're of different cultures and races, you're on the same page, but me as an African American uh, man in America <laughs> I don't even have a plan. I, like I, I don't even plan my day. I don't even plan my week. And and something hit me when I left that when I left that focus group. Something hit me. And it hit me that God's greatest gift, second greatest gift, and also one of his greatest gifts is time. But as black people, especially black men in America, I can't even say sisters because Sisters do a lot of planning and they get things done. Sisters understand the importance of time. Come on, man. You're going to get in front of me like that. My goodness. They understand the importance and the value of time and they can plan things. And you see that all the time. A sister will be like, okay, I need to get it together. I'm going to do this four-year plan. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to go hard. I'm going to get good grades, get on the dean list, come out. Boom. All right. Now, we ain't making enough money. Boom. I'm going to go to grad school, get this MBA or get whatever I got to get, make more money. Boom. After that, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go um save $5,000. I'm going to save two years worth of tax returns and go into real estate investing. Boom. Now, as black men, we've been sold, um, we've been sold some bad information, even though the information can prove true at times, but not all the time. We've been sold some bad information. See, we're under the impression that, hey, I might not live to make it to C25. I might not live to make it to C35. Um, I might not live to make it to C45. So, therefore, everything we do, we just live for the day. We just literally live for the day. And we can't keep doing that. You know, we don't even invest. Sometimes we don't invest because we're like, hey, we can't sit on a stock or an investment for 10 to 15 years to um, watch your fruition. You know, as soon as something hits, we got to flip it now. Or um, I can't hang out in this relationship for this or that long because, you know, um, it, it's just not giving me what I want. And therefore, I got to bounce. Or better yet, I can't set up a five-year plan because I ain't got five years. I might not be here in five years. So therefore, we're doing everything day to day. We're living for the day. Um, we don't invest any money. We don't save any money. We don't make plans or invest in our children. Um, we don't make plans for generational wealth, which is something that you can do. Even in your 40s or your 50s, you're never too old. But we don't do that at my age, in my 40s, and we have nothing to pass down to those guys in, in the younger ages. 
because we don't think we have time to do anything. All we think we have time to do is work and have fun. Or better yet, have fun and work. That really should be the order for most African Americans um, here in, in the United States of America, especially black men. We just live for the weekend and we live for the day and we spend money on stupid things. You know, I look at some of these people um, in other cultures that have money, that have generational wealth, that are millionaires and billionaires. You know, these guys have Instagrams and I know some of them personally. These guys, have, they have Instagrams and they have Facebooks, but you never see them with a lot of money to the side of their face like it's a telephone. I never understood what that's about. I, they look cool sometimes, but now that I'm, you know, looking at it more and more, I'm like, what is this actually about? You don't see Mark Zuckerberg with a, with a lot of ones in a picture. Definitely ain't gonna see Bill Gates, and you don't see all these other guys, but we look at guys like people like Floyd Mayweather and, um, you know, these rappers and stuff, like, they have money, and the reason they do that is because they know that you don't. In order for them, to, for them to become rappers, they had to plan that. It's only a few that were overnight successes, but these guys had to plan through a lot of writing, through a lot of shows where they didn't get paid a lot of money, or athletes, a lot of planning, a lot of training. You know, it took time. They understood the value of time and planning, which a lot of us don't understand, but if we could actually grasp the true concept of time and planning, oh man, life would be so much different. And I'm talking to y'all, but I'm also talking to myself. It, life would be so much different. You look at guys like Floyd Mayweather, the time and the planning and the training, but now Floyd Mayweather is up and what is he doing with money? He's spending the money the way he like it, but ask the people that pay Floyd Mayweather if he's paid to them. And they'll be like, what? <laughs> they'll be like, man, he's broke to us. Because that's the game that we play with each other, okay? As black people, we want to flaunt, flash, and just live for the day and spend all our money on material stuff and things that depreciate. So you looking at people like that, like these are the people with the money. Nah, not really. You need to be looking at the people that are paying them. Those are the people with the money. Those are the people that you will never see on Instagram flashing a bunch of cash. Those are the people that will never be leading their people group and their culture astray with the falsism, with the falsehood. Okay? So, guys, just think about it. Timing and planning. It ain't too late to plan, okay, because you have time. All right? So make a plan, whether it be financially, spiritually, um, physically. Invest and planning and time understand that time is a friend okay time is your friend it's a gift from god but you have to plan as a result more black men start planning brothers start using your time wisely and start planning i'm out